We know that about one in four children are not a healthy weight. These children are likely to become overweight or obese adults, and then they have an increased risk of cardiovascular disease and cancers. The direct healthcare cost for treating or managing unhealthy weight is in the billions, but the indirect costs are also really alarming. They're missing a lot of school, they're then for having you know, education problems, social problems. We want to keep kids healthy so that they've got wellbeing for all of life. We know that children basically just aren't moving enough and they're eating the wrong foods. We've been working in schools for around 15 years in the Good For Kids program. What are the simple things that we can be doing with kids in the class? And that was where fruit break came from. I think we're about 92% of schools across New South Wales now have a fruit break, which is really exciting. Then once we got that kind of happening, we looked at healthy canteens and now around physical activity, and that's things like energisers. They're really simple, can happen anywhere in the classroom or outside the classroom. But it took time, and so it has been working with schools really closely and saying, what are the barriers to doing this, and how can we help you overcome that? You know, they are a significant uh, influence on children's wellbeing, and they're also really passionate about it. We've got these skilled educators who just know how to teach kids these messages. Public health is a team sport. You need people with really diverse skills, and one of them is being able to advocate to policymakers the importance of what we're doing and, and how it fits in. The University of Newcastle has been instrumental, obviously, in my career. I completed all four of my degrees at Newcastle Uni. Excellence and research is in, completely embedded in what we do as a health service. I'm supporting schools to be able to not only sustain what they're doing, but we also need to know that we need to move with the evidence base and be ready to implement new programs or new policies or practices when they come about. I'm Dr Nicole Nathan and I'm a proud University of Newcastle alumna.